guys um, welcome to a new video today me Ayush and Vanna all are going to where um, Japanese Obon festival Japanese Obon festival so this is like a yearly festival that happens in Minnesota it happens in Como Zoo in, in with coordination with the Japanese Society of Minnesota I guess so um, this is the first time uh, we are all going there so it's gonna be probably fun some lantern lighting um, I really don't know what to expect there so we will go see and I'm gonna show you as we go there let's go apparently as soon as I switch off my camera I said he knows what happens in the festival so I'm just gonna ask him to explain it to you guys so basically what happens is first there's Japanese drumming which is called taiko next there is uh, sort of like Japanese martial arts and then there's um, lantern lighting, like my dad said. I think the lantern lighting happens at 8 o'clock in the night. I'm not sure if you're going to be staying that long because today is a Sunday, tomorrow is a weekday. We have to go back to work. Um, but we'll try. Um, the lantern lighting, actually, they don't fly the lantern up in the air. Actually, the lantern is floated down the river. So that is something a little different, and they don't let us do that. Uh, we they have we it's something they take it from us and they do it for us. So we we literally don't do it by ourselves. Uh, say that you have to just park it here and take up the shuttle um, otherwise it gets tricky to park there so we have what we did is we parked our car right there and we're taking a shuttle to Como Zoo where the festival is like scheduled to happen so let's go let's go get on the bus there <laughs> There is a $5 entry fee for this festival, so we got that ticket online because they said that we're just this ticket online, they're, they're not going to sell anything. On the gate? They don't actually cash, right? No. Um, so we have got the tickets, and now we are walking inside. There are lots and lots of people here. Yeah, it's a huge building. There it is. It's a beautiful building. But that's a large crowd though. Uh, <coughs> they scan the tickets like that. You show it on the phone and just walk in. So um, the reason, the purpose of the lanterns in this um, festival is according to Buddhist tradition, the Japanese folks believe that the soul of the dead may interact with this, interact with living. So they actually place these lanterns in, in, front of the, in front of an altar actually to show and guide the souls um, to heaven. I think that's what the belief is and that's why these lanterns are. Um, we are now walking to the festival. Um, it's we hear drums, so we're gonna go and see those. What the festival is about, and I'm gonna walk and explain as I understand, because this is the first time we both, all of us, have been here. So we have never been um, here before. So let's go and see. Let's check it out. Why do you do that? 
Fish flags. What do you want to do with those? What are you going to do with those? What, what they're meant for. What are they meant for? They're, they're meant to like fly. Like, you know, to bend direction, right? Yeah. Okay. Pretty plants, bonsais. some of the cutest cups I have seen at least. Oh, they're sealed. Some of them are, yeah. They have put stickers on it, like tape on it, yeah. I don't know what the doll name is, what are they called, but these are like the tra traditional Japanese kimono dress, wrap dolls. What are these dolls called? Oh. They're called Japanese dolls, basically, that's what it is. And they have this mini boot. They're called Kokeshi dolls. And these are like intense holders. Wobbly hairs. So, so there is, there is a haiku stand we saw and Aish is gonna explain what it is actually. So what is it? Aish? So a haiku is a Japanese poem consisting of three lines. The first one has five syllables, the second one has seven syllables, and the third one has five syllables. Do you know how actually how it looks like? Uh, I actually do. Do you want to do the haiku? Can you haiku? Uh, I definitely You cannot? I don't know how to. How to? Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's keep walking. So Anna is standing uh, in the line for the Japanese buns. It's taro, coconut, vanilla custard, chocolate. I don't know. They're filled up. They're, gonna, they're all like six dollars each. It seems. So let's see how they taste. Huh? Standing for like almost ten minutes. We got our food. We got fried mochi. Uh, I don't know if it is fried ice cream or not, but it looks probably it's rice made of rice, right? Mochi, yeah. Okay. I think they fried the right form. Got gyoza. I'm gonna taste this. This is some sweet sauce. They, they, don't, they did not actually eat oil or anything. I saw chili on the next stand, but not this guy's. Um, fried egg rolls. And also, the big line which I showed you for the buns. Where I was successfully able to get those. So, we're gonna try all these and I will like, tell you how they taste. These are rice balls. 
with red bean paste, sweet red bean paste inside. Red bean paste. Lord, it's just sesame seeds. They give a unique flavor to this. Light, light, or not. I like it. One more. I just want to taste it. Oh. Would have been nice. It would have been more. When else I think it's nice. It's just like a little taste. Uh, red is a little hotter because it's cold. But overall, taste it. put some interesting food, food stamps on this one. It's just Mighty Pace and I think, I don't know what it is. It's like sunrise. And I just got the chocolate one. I'm going to taste a little bit. Share. There's nothing inside. Okay, um, let's just it's taste it. <laughs> Why is it called matcha? I mean, it probably has matcha essence or oil, I guess. I... Yeah, it's matcha. I cannot taste anything. It's much lighter. Shells, right? Yeah, there are eggshells, and there is art over it. That's beautiful. as well, the festival masks. Pikachu and all that stuff, right? So, we came to a booth here and they do calligraphy and they'll write your name in Japanese. Much stuff here to see. I mean, all the way from linears to lamp to lanterns, everything and they, and they have anime as well. Um, there are a couple of boots which are animes, so it's like all around Japanese style stores throughout. Um, I would definitely say that they are a little on the expensive side but again it's taken because it's a festival happens once a year and they get to exhibit their items so that's kind of nice these are the lanterns okay 
So, I think these are like lanterns. This is like the style of them that that they let uh, out on the river or make them fly. Um, but, but these, these are, are made fly. of the metal, right? Yeah, this is just like an imitation. The decorated ones. Yeah. paper art and they are just like 3d models of things they are pretty super pretty it's called kirigami art so it's just like origami oh these are greeting cards actually you fold them Oh, I just realized these are greeting cards. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, those are beautiful. That is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So that art is called Dojo. Um, it's Japanese swordsmanship and they're actually trying to show how they practice with the different techniques they use. and his mom are actually making lanterns. So you go and stand in the line there, go buy a lantern. It's something looks something like that, a person holding in his hand. You decorate it, take it to the pond and they're gonna leave it after lighting that in a candle. Finally made a lantern for her. So he made it for everybody, right? So we're gonna go to the pond now. It's called Lily Pond and we're gonna light our lantern and let it flow. There 
you up. So you go take your lantern to that person sitting there and he's gonna light it up for us. And we actually put our lanterns into the pond. did a great job. Happy? Happy now? Yeah. Are we done? Can we go now? Yes. He didn't want to leave without doing that so we did it and we're gonna go now. Inside the observatory, it's um, I don't know how I don't know what to say about this place. It's beautiful, full of tropical. So it's kind of like a remember, green zone. Yeah, I remember the last time I was here. It was my grandma. Yep. It's all beautiful plants. It's like fully green. You can see it's like a forest. And it's amazing and it's I think it's open throughout the year, right Aish? Uh, yes. But the plants are not, some certain perennial plants actually do exist but the flowers and all this stuff only come in the spring. So if you come in the winter you can find the plants but it's not going to be, um, they won't have flowers. These all things will be there. This is like a greenhouse. has a huge dome up there. inside this Japanese garden but it looks like it is closed now because they're gonna open at 8 that's why it closed Japanese garden and today they light it up unfortunately it's late for us so we have to leave but yes, this is a place to be. If you guys are interested in any kind of plants and all that kind of stuff especially in winter but it's all white. This gives peace to the eyes when you see comments in the greens. This is beautiful. Get tired from walking. There are places like this to sit down. There are benches like this, donated by some good people. Nice place to relax. It's like sitting in a in somewhere like Central Park or that kind of places or in the, you know, Amazon tropical forest. We are done with our Japanese festival. How did you like it? Yeah, I had a really good time. You had a good time? What did you like in there? I thought just like all the culture and like all the different things. Okay. So we're gonna go take a bus. Like, go pick up our car now. What? We are done with our Japanese uh, festival. We are we are here at a place called um, Spirit.
Spitz. It's a Mediterranean food. The shawarma is really good and they also have vegan options. So we are gonna go have our dinner and then head back home. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please do subscribe and share. Um, please. Uh, uh, please like, share and subscribe. It really mean a lot to us. Thank you guys.